Is knee pain limiting your ability to go for a walk, maybe go for a run, exercise, just generally do the things you do on a day-to-day -day basis? If so, you probably already tried wearing something like a knee brace. Maybe it's something you got from CVS or your doctor. And at best, you've gotten transient or limited relief. What if I told you that same proper alignment you were trying to get with your knee brace can be achieved with a properly crafted orthotic? You need to check this out. So when we take a look at the knee, we have to consider the knee is really a joint. Well, duh. But what does that actually mean? That means it's a spot where two different bones come together. So we have our femur, which is our top thigh bone, and we have our tibia. Those two come together, make up your knee joint. Now the position of your femur and your tibia dictates the alignment of your knee. It seems pretty straightforward, right? So let's consider what changes the position of your femur and what changes the position of your tibia is going to change the position of your knee. And a lot of times we disregard that. So we have a femur that's out of position and we have a knee that's out, or excuse me, a tibia that's out of position and we slap a, a knee brace on it, hoping to bring the tibia and the femur back to where it's supposed to be. Now, the issue with that is your tibia is not the foundation of your leg. It is not the base of the lower extremity. Your ankle and your foot are, and specifically, this nice little round bone at the bottom of your foot we call your calcaneus. It's your heel bone. That's the first thing that meets the ground when you take a step. So if that calcaneus is not stable and starts to roll in, what it does is it causes internal rotation of the tibia and internal rotation of the femur. This puts the knee in a pretty compromised position. So if we slap a knee brace on it, while we already have tibial internal rotation and femoral internal rotation, how much good is that knee brace actually gonna do? What we need to do is we need to fix the position of the ankle and the foot. Now this can be done with a properly crafted orthotic that helps support stabilize the calcaneus. Notice I'm not talking about arch support right now. The calcaneus is key. The position of your subtalar joint, that's where your calcaneus comes into the talus, okay? So your top ankle foot bone is so vital to how your foot moves. If that calcaneus goes out of position, long story short, it takes the joint axis of motion of the subtalar joint, it puts it in parallel with the transverse tarsal joint, unlocking the foot, allowing your foot to overpronate meaning collapse, it gives you a flat foot. That's what drives that tibia into internal rotation and pulls the knee out of position. So a properly crafted orthotic that stabilizes and cups a calcaneus, supports your midfoot and gives you that sensorial feedback is what we must have to start to get the correct position of the knee. Now, the reason I said start to get the correct position is this is just the bottom part. This is just the foundation. Remember, we have a top bone to your knee too, being your femur. So that femur has to be in the correct position. And what does that? Your proximal, meaning you're above your hip muscles that come off of your pelvis down to your femur. And that's where somebody like me comes along and can help you do that. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that are the barefoot maximalists saying, Ryan, your foot is designed to move. We don't walk around with our foot in a box like you're showing in this diagram. And guess what? I agree with you. However, we also weren't designed to walk around on man-made concrete for 97% of our lives. Okay, stepping on a surface like dirt, sand, mud, grass is very different than concrete. If you don't agree with me, go outside, play football in a concrete parking lot. <laughs> okay, it's not the same. When you step on those surfaces, your foot meets the earth, but your earth also meets your foot your earth. The earth also meets your foot. Okay, so it's, it's a give and take there. That is so important to have that symbiotic relationship. And again, that can be achieved with a properly crafted orthotic. If you want to talk more about this, please reach out. I'd love to, to chat your ear off about what we can do to make your knee pain go away. And it might even be something like hip pain or back pain. This alignment of the lower extremity kinetic chain can affect a lot of different things.